Hey everybody, Ryan Gronfenier, author, speaker, chef, restaurateur, founder of, where is it? There it is, therestaurantboss.com, clickbacon.com, scalemyrestaurant.com, and then of course, oh, I always do it on the wrong shoulder, author of Make It Happen. Go ahead, grab your free copy at therestaurantboss.com. That's right, I said free copy. You can pay 15 bucks for it on Amazon, but if you come to our website, we'll give it to you for free. Um, but today I'm gonna show you, actually, let's just jump right into a PL and I'll just show you in there. Okay, so here we are, we're looking at a client's PL. Now this is from last year. I just had this one accessible. It's the first one I pulled up. I haven't even looked at in a while. So there may be some weird things in here, but I hope not. But what I wanna quickly show you, actually the first thing I wanna do is I wanna talk about what should be on here and what shouldn't be on here. Sales tax should not be on a profit and loss statement. You don't own that money. You're collecting it and then you're gonna send it to the government. That's a balance sheet account. If you see sales tax, sales tax as income, sales tax as, as a paid expense, sales tax coming in as part of your income, you need to talk to your bookkeeper seriously because they're doing it wrong. You should not see tips anywhere on your profit and loss. I see this all the time. Again, they should not come in as part of your income. They should go to the balance sheet. There should not be a separate line for it as income or an expense. Tips again is money that you're just holding on to for a couple of weeks until you give it back to your team members. It comes into the balance sheet, it goes out on the balance sheet. And then gift cards. You should not see gift cards anywhere. Gift cards should not be coming in as part of your sales. They are a liability. You owe that money. They come in, they go to your, to your P&L, and then when people use it, it comes off your PL, but it should never be, I mean, off your balance sheet. It should never be on your profit and loss. If you see sales tax, gift cards or tips on your PL, talk to your bookkeeper. There's a problem. Or if your top line income includes sales tax, gift cards, or tips, there's a bigger problem because you might be paying sales tax on top of sales tax. I just found a client looking at their PL or looking at their books a couple weeks ago. And I find this every month I find it, but this other client probably has overpaid their sales tax in the last three or four years by 30 or $40,000 because they're paying sales tax on sales tax. Their bookkeeper's doing it completely wrong. Now we're gonna get them in touch with a better bookkeeping firm. We're gonna get in touch with their CPA and we're gonna be able to try to appeal that and get that money back in the form of a, of a tax credit toward future years. But the point is, a lot of you are doing this. Another thing you should not see on your PL are departments or tender types. You should not see catering on your PL. Catering is a food or a beverage sale. You should not see a bar revenue, unless that's just a word that we're using for alcohol sales, but you shouldn't see. Um, DoorDash sales, you shouldn't see Uber Eats sales, you shouldn't see offsite or onsite. What you sell as a restaurant is food, beer, wine, liquor, maybe some merchandise, maybe some rental fees, maybe some service fees, but that's about it. You should see food, beer, wine, liquor, right? Like look at this one. We see food and beverage and then alcohol. This is a breakfast spot, so they don't sell a lot of alcohol. You should also not see um like tender types, cash and credit card. If you see cash and credit card on your PL, there's a very good chance that cash and credit card also includes tips, gift cards, and sales tax like we just talked about because that's called cash basis accounting. That basically means your bookkeeper's waiting for the, the money to hit the bank account, then they're registering that as income. But some of that money's not income. Now, I know this sounds a little confusing. We're gonna do a deep dive on this in our membership coming up. So check out the restaurantboss.com slash membership or just go to the restaurantboss.com and find the membership. Um, that is going to be on June, I think 11th. Uh, we are going to be doing that deep dive, June 11th, 2024. If this is before then, join the membership, come, come to that live. If you're watching this after in 25 or 26, uh, join our membership and you get access to all those historical trainings. But we're gonna go deep into this. The last thing I wanna talk about here before I kind of show you what you should see here um, are 
like I said, your sales categories, food, beer, wine, liquor, things like that should have an offsetting cost of goods sold. Should have an offsetting cost of goods sold, right? So if we see sales food, we should see COGS food. Now this particular one, as I'm looking at it, right? Even this one, I think we've made changes to this one since uh, since this was sent to me because I must have pulled out the wrong one. But what you should see here is sales food, COGS food, sales beer, COGS beer, sales liquor, COGS liquor, sales wine, COGS wine, sales merchandise, COGS merchandise. That's what you should see on this PL. And again, I'm 99% sure this client has been fixed since I saw this. But some of the good things that we can see here are, right? Well, first, let me explain why. If we don't have food sales and food purchases, we don't know our food cost. If we only have cash and credit card, well, how much that came from food? How much that came from beer? How much that came from wine? If we have catering, was it food or was it beer? If we have third party, what did you actually sell on that third party, right? So we have to know those different categories. And I'm just looking at my notes here, right? The COGS, the COGS part I already talked about. But other than that, this is a very well organized PL that'll take you all the way down to the bottom line. Now, again, I remember looking at this. In this case, if you notice, there's $95,000 in Ask My Client, which is in their $32,000 loss in 23 or up to this point. That's because this client was using funds from this restaurant to pay for a new restaurant. And that's why it's under Ask My Client because they hadn't created the new restaurant books yet. So they're gonna move that money off of these books and onto those books. So that way this restaurant still shows the profit that it deserves. Again, I remember auditing this now, they just hadn't done that yet. Um, but again, very well organized, very clean. We can easily find what's our food cost, right? Food cost would be right here in a percentage and in dollars. We could easily find what's our beer cost. We can easily find our labor costs. We can get total labor. We can get prime cost. In this case, because of this software that they're using, um, this client is now using ClickBacon. They were not before, but in ClickBacon, you would see two lines here. You'd see prime cost and gross profit. Prime cost is the opposite of gross profit. So prime cost is what we really wanna see here. Oh, well, it's right here. It's called total cost of sales. Um, it's just not titled prime cost. That's your prime cost and that's your gross profit. Then we have all of our expenses listed out, very well organized, coming all the way down to the bottom line here. Um, now you'll notice sales tax is here, but well, it's sales tax discount. That's what I was gonna say. There's zero dollars here, but this was a discount for prepaying their sales tax or paying it on time. They get a small discount. Um, but yeah, I just really wanted to, this was less about the example, it's more about the things you should and shouldn't see on your PL. And then again, if you're interested in that deep dive training that we have coming up, go ahead and check that out at therestaurantboss.com. We're calling it Cooking Your Books. It's for members only. It'll be on June 11th of 2024. And again, if you're watching this after that, no problem. You can join our membership. You'll get access to all the past recordings plus all the future stuff. So go ahead and check out uh, the membership and see what you get there. Uh, last thing I want to say here before we go is if you haven't gotten a copy of our book, head to the restaurantboss.com, grab your free copy of the book. Um, yeah. And I'll see you guys next week for another great video like this. Remember systems create freedom. Freedom creates value. Value creates scale. Have an amazing day. Love every single one of you crazy restaurant people. Bye-bye. Make it happen is the book I wish I had when I was operating restaurants. Inside are the lessons that took me 10 years to learn and 10 more years of teaching to perfect. I've condensed the most important lessons into this tiny book for building a big restaurant business. I am on a mission to improve restaurants all over the world. Because of that, I want to send you a free copy. Grab yours today at therestaurantboss.com.